What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy and in today's video we are doing a collective haul. I have some home decor, some fashion, some beauty. So if you like these kinds of videos, if you want to see more of these videos on my channel, give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video from me. And also turn on that post notification bell so you're alerted every time I upload. You guys, I got a lot of stuff, so let's just get into it. So for those of you who are only here for the home decor, I'm gonna go ahead and just start with that. If you missed my new like luxury hotel bedding video, I got all new bedding for my bed. Aside from my duvet cover, and a couple of pillows. But other than that, I got all new bedding. And let me tell you, I am obsessed with this bedding. Zach loves it. I love it. It is so comfortable. I honestly feel like I'm sleeping in a hotel bed. It has been such a game changer for us. I love it. I will link that video down below and up here so that you can watch it. The next thing that I got were these basket lights from Ikea. Now I am doing a little revamp and we'll have a video out kind of going through a little facelift that I did in the kitchen, but these lights were such a unique touch to our kitchen and I'm really excited about them and they were only $20 each. The other new home decor item that I recently got that I want to mention in this video, even though I shared it in another video, is a Restoration Hardware desk chair. It's actually a dining chair. I shared it in my Restoration Hardware outlet shop with me, but I'm completely obsessed. It is really hard to actually find a dupe for this chair, but I wanted to share it with you guys because we are actually redoing our whole like office space that we have here in the apartment. Hopefully it turns out we are vlogging it so you can see that in the next couple of days. But I, because it's a dining room chair and we are using our old dining room table for that space, I think it's going to turn out really nice. So I'll just insert a little clip of that chair because I'm obsessed and because I recently got it. Okay, so you guys all know about my little salt cellar. It's actually not really a salt cellar. I don't really know what this is but it's just like this little like wood scoop and i will link similar ones to these and any vintage items that i mention i dig and dig for dupes so that you guys can get a similar look i found a similar one but it's just not vintage but i will link that one as well i think it's a really good one so i got this salt cellar i actually got it for zach and i wanted a little spoon so i got this little spoon i got it from a local little boutique and i will try to find similar ones online if i can but zach we just kind of you know do that when we need the salt but i did want like a little spoon to i don't know just so that like if we didn't feel like touching it or our hands were wet or something we had something else and i love it look at how cute this is you guys look at this cutie little spoon it's like perfect so cute okay so the next item that i got i actually got because i wanted a little vase or something that I could put fresh flowers in. And I have a couple vases, but to be honest, I'm not head over heels for any of them. So I saw this little cocktail like mixer from CB2. I will link it down below. And I really loved it. And I thought, oh my gosh, this will be so cute. Like imagine like a bunch of peonies or a bunch of flowers in here so cute peonies are my favorite if you are wondering why i mentioned that but i loved it i love the crystal detailing i love that it has like that vintage feel it was like 14 dollars, super inexpensive but if you guys know if you follow us on instagram you know we've been quite obsessed with ranch water lately if you don't know what ranch water is it's not hidden valley ranch and water it is like a skinny margarita. So we actually, I got this spoon from Target a little while ago 
and we've actually been using this as a cocktail mixer and we actually really love it for that. So I kind of want to order another one for my flowers as well because I still like that idea, but we are actually using it as a cocktail mixer. Okay, so the next two items are also from that local like boutique that I went to. The first is this primitive wood little bowl. And I got this because I wanted to, I'm gonna be actually doing a bedside table styling video this week. And I wanted like a little bowl or something just to catch, you know, items in or little things like that. I went to Restoration Hardware like a few years ago and they just had a primitive bowl on a stack of books and it had nothing in it, but I really loved the simplicity of it and just to kind of enjoy the bowl, the wood, the that element. So I don't know, I will use this for a lot of different reasons, but I just really liked this bowl and thought I could use it for so many different things, even like, as an entry little table, like just putting your wallet, keys, whatever in there. I just thought this was so cute. So I got that. And then you guys already know in my restoration hardware dupes or like look for less, I find these um, paper mache bowls. I have one and I thought, this will be really cool. When I find them for a good price, I like to pick them up because they're really hard to find, especially for a good price. I will link some down below for you guys, but I really like to actually put this in the current one that I already have and kind of double them up just because we are kind of running out of space here in our apartment. But if you guys know, if you missed my video where I talk about finding your style, I am at the stage in my life where I am collecting home decor, decorative pieces, things that I think I'm gonna have forever and things like this will never go out of style. I will always find a use for this. I love it. Vintage items are amazing for home decor because you can always use them no matter what your style is you can always add vintage pieces so i just imagine these on a bookshelf in the future or even on the top of you know maybe like an entryway shelf or something you will always find a use for these so i was really excited when i found this one and i really loved the shape of this one because it's almost like taller i don't know i it's a little bit different than the ones that i've seen my other ones like wider and rounder but i really love this one Okay, so the next thing I got were these sunglasses. I got these from Target. I really love them. I thought that they just kind of like elevated my look a little bit. I just thought I needed something just to kind of feel like I could go to brunch or something. And that was like a little bit more, I don't know, chic. So I picked these up from Target. They're like the tortoise shell sunnies. I freaking love them. I think that they are so cute. And I really needed some brown sunglasses. I have another pair, but they're more round. Where these, I just thought, I don't know. I thought they were like a good in-between. They weren't too cat eye. They're not like too out there, but yet still fashionable, which is totally my vibe. I don't always like to be like just too much. You know what I mean? I kind of like to look like, I like, I, I feel like this is how the French are. I could totally be wrong, but I feel like I like to look fashionable, but like not too much, like look expensive, but not too much. I don't know if that makes any sense at all whatsoever, but love those sunnies. And then the next thing that I got, so you guys ask me about this bracelet that I wear literally almost in every single video and I love it. I got it from H&M, but it's starting to tarnish. It was only $6, you get what you pay for. But I went to H&M, I had a return to do, and I picked me up another one because $6, okay? So I got another one, I love it, I wear it all the time. Like I said, it is starting to tarnish, but it was $6, so I'm okay with it. It is what it is. 
If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know about this next item, which is these super ultra, ultra chunky hoops. I'm obsessed with these. They are super lightweight. It's funny because I was at the pool and we were talking to a neighbor and he just randomly was like, are those earrings really heavy? And I was like, no, not at all. And uh, I love them. I think that they are so cute. And it's almost like once you go to the chunk, you can't really go back to the regular. I mean, I will eventually, but I'm so obsessed. I'm gonna come in closer and show you guys these earrings. Look at these, they are so good. I love them so much. They're just so good. Love them. Also heard me rave about this cutie little initial necklace that I got off of Amazon. Well, I got this one. It's kind of more of a copper color. It's smaller. Let me come in closer. And I do, I do love it, but I love the other one more, but it's just that different shape that I love. I got a Z for Zach. So cute. Love that. So the next two items are these one arm like body suits. I got it in this nude color, which I love. You guys also ask me all the time about my bra. It's probably my number one question that I get. You guys sold them out. So I'm on the hunt for another bra, but this one is Calvin Klein. Um, yeah, I went to go buy one and you guys sold them out. So I have it in, or this from Abercrombie, I got it in nude and in black. The one complaint that I have about Abercrombie is that some of the black items that come look like a really deep navy blue and I wish that they were more of like a jet black, but whatever, I still really like it and I got a size small, which I'm glad I did because I've been getting a size medium in these um, bodysuits and I definitely think they have a little extra room so you could size down if you wanted to. And then the next two items are also, actually, the next three items are also from Abercrombie. So I got these like Razorback, I've already worn these. I had to dig these out of the dirty clothes, which don't judge me, but you know what? It is what it is. So I got these like Razorback t-shirts from our little like crop tops from Abercrombie and I love them. I, this, this white one's actually pretty dirty to be honest, I wore it yesterday. And I wore a black bra with this one and you couldn't even see the bra. So that was great. Okay, and then the next top is this one here. It like ties in the front, I'll insert a photo. And I freaking love this shirt. I do think I need to get a size small. Uh, I have it in a medium, but I love, love, love this shirt. Okay, so Spanx actually sent over some leather, faux leather leggings. I will insert a photo of an outfit that I did with these and I freaking love these. They have been on my wish list, which I don't know why I've waited so long to, I mean, I didn't even buy them, Spanx sent them, but I freaking love them. They're gonna be so cute for the fall. I think that faux leather leggings will always be something that will be in style because you can always make a cute outfit out of them. I do know that they are on the Nordstrom anniversary sale right now too, so that's really great. I will link these down below. And then I also got the Moto leggings. I'm gonna be styling these ones. I haven't worn these ones yet. And then I got a pair of velvet leggings, which I know are risky and I know, but I just thought these would be really cute around Christmas time with like a chunky knit sweater. I don't know. We'll have to see how these go, but I just thought they were cute. Maybe that's just me. And then the last two fashion items that I got are, I got these like snake skin, faux snake skin, um, like square toed shoes. These will be in actually both of the photos of the top that I said and the leather leggings. These are 
seriously a favorite. They're super comfortable. They're not too high. I just like love these and these are true to size. I'm a six and a half, pretty solid six and a half. And then the last fashion item that I got are these snake skin little booties. I cannot wait to style these. I but I freaking love these. I think they'll be so cute with a pair of sweats. So I can't wait to share outfits with these over on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me over on Instagram. Okay, so I live in Arizona, but I do not sunbathe at all because I am terrified of like really ruining my skin even more. When I was younger, I wasn't the best with putting on sunscreen and I definitely have some sun damage, but these days I literally avoid the sun at all costs. I will wear hats and sunscreen and when we go to the pool, I am in the shade pretty much the entire time because I try to avoid it so much. So, that being said, I do like to put on a self tan. I like to keep it as like natural looking as possible. Sometimes I like to go a little extra and give myself a little extra tan, but the one that I love and swear by and literally think is the best, especially for me, I'm fair, but I have like a yellow undertone when I do have a natural tan, which is never because I don't go out in the sun. I am a little bit more of a golden undertone. So I like to get the Loving Tan. This is in the color Ultra Dark, which I know can sound freaky, but I just do one layer of this. It's perfect, I love it. It is the best color for like a yellow undertone. So if you're looking for a self tan, I love this one. It's my favorite and I have literally tried them all, I tell you a lot. I really have tried a lot and this one's my favorite. Worth every penny. I did a current favorites video and you guys know that I am completely obsessed with Sol de Janeiro. They, this, the yellow, the orange scent is like the best freaking scent on this like planet earth in my opinion. I love it. One of you explained it as like a warm pistachio, um, like vanilla scent and I would have to agree it's like so rich but oh my gosh you guys it is so good so I was feeling a little bougie and I thought you know what I'm gonna get the body wash oh my gosh here in Arizona after you're out in the pool for a day you get so itchy and it's just it's horrible so this is the most hydrating most moisturizing freaking body wash I think I have ever used. It is so good and it's that smell that I love. It smells exactly like the Bum Bum Cream, but it is expensive. I'm not gonna lie, this bottle was $32 and I was like, what in the hell? Like $32 for some body wash? I am very like stingy with this stuff. Like I, even to myself, like I just like do a little bit and I like to put it in the areas like around my like upper body and then I will do the rest of my body and in, in, the, in the, my Trader Joe's body wash, which is like so funny, but I love this stuff. It's amazing, worth the money, but I still think they need to like take this price down a notch. Like $32 for a 13 fluid ounce body wash. I don't know about all that, but I, I mean, I did buy it. As I just mentioned, I am completely obsessed with the Sol de Janeiro whole situation. So I got the body mist as well because I wanted it. And this stuff though, I'm not as like stingy with. It smells the same, exactly like the other thing. I think this bottle was like 19 bucks if I remember correctly. And it's literally so freaking good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And if you don't believe me, I have my bum bum cream in here that I love. I have like a mini one back over there and I have my Sol de Janeiro body oil that I freaking love. They all are the same scent and literally I, I think everyone needs to at least smell this if not own it. It is so good. And then I needed to order some eyebrow. Actually, I'll go ahead and say I was being cheap and I went to Target and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try the NYX eyebrow pencil. 
So I got blonde, it was like way too blonde. And then I got, what color is this, taupe. It just was not it for me. So here I thought I was saving some money, spending $20 on two of these when I could have just bought my Anastasia one. So annoying, I hate, don't you hate when you do that? Nothing grinds my gears more than trying to be cheap and then having and spending more money in the long run. So I ended up getting my Anastasia in the color blonde. A lot of you guys ask what eyebrow stuff I use. I use the Brow Wiz Skinny Brow Pencil. Love that. I also used to use the pomade. I like that as well, but I find that this gives me a little bit more control. So I love this. Then in the little bottom where it was like, people have also bought this or whatever, they showed some Anastasia eyelashes. And you guys already know that I love my lashes. I always wear lashes almost every day. And if you missed my vlog video, I would highly recommend going and going to that video if you wanna know how I put my lashes on. I put my lashes on underneath and I chop them up. So if you want to know how I do that, go over to that video. I will link it down below. But I've been dying to try these, but I wanted to put them in this video. So I am super excited. These are the Don't know how to say that. I will link those down below. All right, you guys, those are all of my recent purchases. I thought it would be really cool to add in some other stuff because you guys know that I'm pretty picky with my home decor, so it does take me a long time to kind of build up my collection and I don't always just have a haul of home decor to share with you. So I thought I would start with that and add all this other stuff in. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, especially if you like that I'm sharing more with you guys. And that's it. I will see you guys in a couple days with another video. Bye guys.